everybody, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic. Have a pretty cool unboxing here today. Can't wait to show it to you. Just getting it out of this Loot Crate Jurassic Park bag uh, that I'm just totally fits what we're looking at today so well with its, uh, you know, uh, official Jurassic Park branding on it. This feels like something you'd find in the park, similar to what I'm going to be unboxing today. Uh, another cool thing from uh, Box Launch, this awesome uh, notebook. Again, this feels like something that would be uh, part of your kit if you were to work at the actual Jurassic Park, which is what brings us to what we're actually going to be looking at, which is this Dr. Collector welcome kit uh, that I just got in the mail this week and I've been holding off opening it so I can film this awesome uh, unboxing video and take a look at everything inside. You know, sometimes I open up stuff and get a look and kind of prepare myself, but I have not done it with this one. This will be just like a fresh unboxing and reaction. Um, and I obviously have an idea of what's inside since I bought it, but um, I'm really excited to open it all on camera and sort of react real time. So this is the uh, tin it comes in. Uh, this is my first Dr. Collector item. I know they've done a couple Jurassic World items and even one Jurassic Park one, but I was really drawn to this one because um, there's just so many cool details about it. I mean, right out the box, it's yellow. I love Jurassic Park's yellow motif. You can see behind me a couple yellow items that they've uh, done back in the 90s. So I love to see these new items kind of pick that up. But this box has some really cool weathering on it. If you can see, it's got like some, um, you know, metal distress, some screw, like some faux screws on it. So it feels like a sort of antique uh, welcome kit that was probably fresh back in the 90s when Jurassic Park first opened. But now it's sort of aged and weathered and maybe it's been sitting on a shelf in the abandoned visitor center. Who knows? But um, everything inside uh, is probably fresh and new too so let's go ahead and open up that tin lid comes off here and the first thing we're going to look at out of the box is this welcome letter and uh I'm not going to read the whole thing on camera, but uh, it's sort of a welcome letter that says, uh, on behalf of the entire engine family, I would like to extend a warm welcome to Jurassic Park. Uh, and it also is signed by John Hammond with his signature on Jurassic Park letterhead. I mean, how kind of fun is that? So an official welcome letter from John Hammond himself on that Jurassic Park letterhead. Um, little welcome letter to sort of get us started. And inside... Looks like things kind of moved around here, so I'm going to get it a little more organized here. Um, inside, we have a, uh, a ticket to the park. Let's see if I can carefully get this out. So um, it's uh, sort of like a paper plastic material, but it feels like an actual ticket. Um, and it's got some like gold uh, leafing on it. You can see the T-Rex on there. Three-day pass, adult for $2,500. That's an expensive ticket, but, um, you know, for everything you're getting, which is the chance of a lifetime to see dinosaurs, uh, I, you know, I'd certainly pay it. This is the uh, Gold gold Weekend Amber Edition. Um, could be another reason the park ticket's so expensive, but really nice Jurassic branding on here with the little icons um, of Gallimimus, Brachiosaurus, Dilophosaurus, and Stegosaurus. Um, the barcode on there is pretty fun, too. I got to say, though, this is a Jurassic World T-Rex. This is the Jurassic World key art. I always um, kind of get aggravated by that stuff. I mean, it's Jurassic Park. It's not Jurassic World. Uh, I know um, a lot of collectors and fans kind of like to keep that stuff separate. So um, I, I'm not a huge fan of that T-Rex on there. I wish they could have used something um, different. But everything else about this ticket is very cool. Oh, on the back, too, it says, your purchase includes transportation from Costa Rica, okay, via ferry, three nights at our five-star resort, uh, a, a tournament of golf, okay, uh, not a big golf fan, but that's cool, and free admission to select 3D showings and 25% discount on all food and merchandise. Little picture of the uh, Ford Explorer there, too. So not a bad deal. I mean, 2500 bucks gets you to the island from Costa Rica. You just have to pay... Um, you just have to pay to get to Costa Rica, but everything else is included under this $2,500 price um, for one adult. So pretty fun. So a ticket letter here. Um, what else is inside? We have this floppy disk, which is just so fun. So it's a, uh, looks like it's a Jurassic Park virtual tour and it looks like a legit floppy disk. Um, looks like you have the Dr. Collector logos on here too, but I wonder, I mean, I don't have a computer that runs floppy disks, but I would love to, uh, to kind of put this on the computer and see what what's on it but there it is that's the uh jurassic park uh virtual tour on floppy disk just like it would be on the 90s very very fun um and it kind of kind of sits in here on the tray it kind of came untaped it looks like in shipping i'm just going to go ahead and 
stick it back in there for keepsake. Um, looks like we also have a little Jurassic Park enamel pin. Um, pretty nice, lots of uh, nice little detail on that. Uh, it's like kind of um, embossed with the skeleton and the, uh, the lettering, so fun there. I actually have a ton of enamel pins for Jurassic Park from the vintage, from the vintage days, but this is a brand new one, which is kind of fun. We also have what looks to be a, um, these, these pins are kind of supposed to fit into these shapes. It's a tight fit. Um, we also have this uh, Mr. DNA pin. So I'm gonna try to pop out of here if I can. Oh uh, yeah, that's a tight fit. Um, Mr. DNA. The Mr. DNA. I don't have any merchandise or any pin with him on it, so that's new. Um, pretty fun, Mr. DNA. We all know him. See how they had kind of have a spot die cut out for all these pins, so you can kind of stick them in there and keep them in there. Display is really nice, and then we also have um, amber with a mosquito in it. It's got a big Amblin sticker on it, which is kind of obnoxious. I might take that off. Um, but you can see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's an actual mosquito in it. So I don't know, this probably isn't real amber. It's probably manufactured. Um, but that's cool. It's got a real bug in it. Um, so get your own piece of, uh, dino DNA when you, um, sign up to come to Jurassic Park with this welcome kit. Um, and that goes back in. Then we can pop this whole foam piece out. At least that's what I believe I'm supposed to do here. Oh, it's coming. Again, I always, you know, do a lot of my unboxing sort of a dry run through some of these videos, but I thought this one would be kind of fun to do live since I've never seen any of this stuff. Okay, wow, that is a very tight fit. So this whole tray kind of pops out so you can um, put it aside. And then inside, we have some more goodies in our Jurassic Park welcome kit. Um, first one on top is this uh this welcome banner um let's go ahead and open it up open up that plastic and it looks like it's uh the, yeah the uh the famous when dinosaurs ruled the earth banner whoa it's huge sorry probably, probably can't get it all in frame but it's pretty big oh man yes this is awesome this is like perfect for my display room it's not massive Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm definitely gonna be putting that up on on, on display for sure. Um, that's just too fun. It's literally the perfect size for uh, for my room anyway. So when dinosaurs ruled the earth from the end of the movie, but now we get the actual banner. Let's see if I can get it to fold up somewhat nicely uh, for the for going back into storage. All right, and then what else do we got in here? Um, looks like we have a uh, lanyard here. Official Jurassic Park lanyard. I kind of dig the green. Gives me sort of a uh, explorer tour vehicle vibes. Um, so a nice little lanyard for you to probably wear your visitor pass around the park. It just says Jurassic Park on it, um, kind of repeated. We also have some nice pins here. And these pins remind me a lot of something that we already have um, from the vintage uh, pin collection. You can actually see over here, see this Jurassic Park hat on my shelf. You can see that I literally have like the same pin for the Brachiosaurus. These are a little bit bigger over here. The new ones are smaller, but I really like that they used retro designs and just kind of re-released them, um, you know, in this set. I, instead of doing something original or forbid doing something with Jurassic World assets, they actually used original Jurassic Park vintage stuff, which is really fun. And, and you know, the, the card back on this too, with the Jurassic Park logo, um, with the gradient on it, another excellent throwback. That's the logo that's on the, um, the Ford Explorers, that gradient one. So nice little pin set. Here we go. Here's our visit, visitor badge. So obviously that's meant to kind of possibly go on this lanyard here. Um, it's even unpunched still. Uh, you could punch the whole out if you wanted. VIP visitor with the barcode. You are required to wear this in a prominent position at all times. The pa This pass remains in the property of Jurassic Park. Isla Nublar must be surrendered to an authorized representative upon request. So pretty cool. VIP visitor pass um, included with, with this VIP welcome kit. So um, nice solid plastic with a matte finish. Pretty high quality stuff. I know a lot of people make these on the internet. Um, a lot of people make them on the internet. But this is official 
official and uh you know you get what you pay for it's a little bit higher quality um also inside we have, there's so much stuff in this it's just super fun um mr dna uh sticker so very similar to the pin um same like pose kind of um nice little retro design too you know very vintage feeling we have a Jurassic Park patch in yellow. I love the Jurassic Park yellow logo. Looks like it's an iron-on patch, so it's got that like adhesive on the back. Um, I would, probably won't be ironing on anything, but still, um, it's uh, you know I just love the yellow. The yellow all over this kit is fun. So another high-quality patch too. You can see it's um, it's not just like printed; it's actually stitched. So uh, more little goodies in there looks like we have another sticker this one's pretty fun it's got a t-rex on it not overtly jurassic world t-rex um but he's kind of hugging the jurassic park logo so you know between mr dna and this you get some nice stickers in your welcome kit there's also a postcard which this is probably one of my favorite things in here look at this this is original artwork as far as i'm concerned um i haven't seen it anywhere else and it's a jurassic park gate um and the nice you know clear blue sky uh t-rex popping through clearly a jurassic park t-rex and then um like maybe a, a father and his daughter looking up at us so just a nice little touristy postcard looks like it's even got the greetings from jurassic park place stamp here so postcard to send home to all your friends from your 2500 dollars trip to jurassic park um that's that's cool i mean again original artwork i don't recognize this from anywhere so i like to see that versus some repurposed jurassic world artwork um brochure in here official jurassic park brochure uh, we've seen this from the movie obviously quite a few times um and if we open it up it looks like just like the movie Oh, wow. So it's even got it in gen different languages. It's got it in Japanese and then general information. This is literally like a perfect recreation of the movie. It has all these like generic stills of like beaches and stuff. Stuff that doesn't even have anything to do with dinosaurs. You'd think if you were handing out a brochure for your dinosaur park, you'd have pictures of dinosaurs. But it has one price admission, special group rates, park hours, um, all that stuff. And then it kind of opens up into... Oh, sorry. So the back, sorry, I'm not, I'm trying to do this the right way. Um, nice little Kodak. Um, it's not Kodak anymore. They took out the branding, but it used to be Kodak, um, photo, like a, like an advertisement. When you open this thing up, I didn't really do it on camera the correct way. You open it up and it's the Jurassic Park gates. Then you open up the gates to more information and then you can take the whole thing. Bear with me, open it up. And what do you have here? You have a map of Jurassic Park that you can use to find your way around. And there's uh, icons for the visitor center, the port, the heliport, uh, electric fences. So you can see where the uh, enclosure fences are, where the tour road is, where there's an access road, really, really fun stuff. The visitor center's on here, the gates are on here. So you can really see where your tour's going. There's the, the Jeep, or the, sorry, the uh, Explorer. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of versions of this map over the years. I actually own quite a few, too, from the Telltale game, um, from, like, vintage stuff. But this one looks a little different in that it has some added illustrations on the actual island of, like, the, the gate and the visitor center. So kind of fun touch. I'm not sure if that's come out before or if that's just new to me. But also has a list of species, which there are some interesting ones on here. You got Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus, Triceratops, of course, Parasaurolophus. But they also have the Proceratosaurus. Metricanthosaurus, Seagosaurus, Herarosaurus, Baryonyx, joining T-Rex and Velociraptor. So a lot of extra species here that weren't in the movie necessarily or haven't even been in the movies yet when you're talking about, you know, Proceratosaurus and Metricanthosaurus. So, um, but those were all part of the original park map in the movie. So um, kind of fun. You can see where they're at on the map too. It looks like Baryonyx sort of had its own little island over here. Um, what, what else? Uh we got Metricanthosaurus down here. Um, we got Herarosaurus all the way up here. So kind of fun to see where those all are at on this nice little brochure and map. Very fun. Uh, I love that. That's fun. Nice little official Jurassic Park brochure. Looks like there's still more in here. It just keeps going, guys. Um, let me pop this out. So this looks like another brochure for um, night vision safety goggles. Worth noting that while this is sort of a glossy paper, 
still, you know, very much kind of like a disposable brochure. This right here is done in like a laminate card. So um, way more sturdy and durable, probably because it would be, you know, in the back of a tour vehicle and they wouldn't want people throwing it away or spilling on it or whatever. It's, it's purposefully laminated, but it has a night vision safety goggles instructions. Uh, oh, this is so cool. Um, your night vision goggles are underneath your seat. Little diagrams here. It reminds me of like when you're in an airplane and they're giving you safety instructions. Press the on switch, the red indicator light in the front will turn on. Warning, keep the windows closed and heavy object, which is kind of funny because that's what they say in the movie. Um, do not make sudden movements. Don't use illuminated areas. Don't leave under the vehicle. Um, do not leave the vehicle, sorry, and do not feed the animals with, again, that nice little sketch of the... Uh, of the Explorer from the concept art, as well as concept art of the uh, actual goggles. Uh, on the back, it says put the goggles on and adjust. So these are like the actual instructions. One Steps one, two, three, and four. And then you have a little bit more. So um, just another little piece here. And I think that I literally got to the bottom of this tin. I mean, come on. That is a lot of stuff in this tin. I know you can still buy this tin. I think it's kind of... Uh, marked up now because they sold out of the first run so don't expect to get it for too cheap um but i bought it right when it came out um and it's i've waited i mean i think it can, it, we, it was up for pre-order like a while ago like at least six months ago um but now it's finally here and and i'm very impressed with it i mean the amount of stuff that's that comes in this kit is uh you know it's just impressive uh between I mean, just the brochure and like the ticket and the floppy disk alone uh, are, are enough for me. But I mean, it just has so much stuff, and, um, including those pins and the stickers. So um, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. I got to say, oh, that floppy disk is coming out. Um, I, I just love the effort that went into kind of making it seem, uh, you know, like it would be real. I love that in the universe stuff. A, a lot of effort went into making this kit feel that way and feeling like it's appropriately distressed as far as like the rusted metal goes on the case. But having all these goodies inside that you would get if you actually were going to Jurassic Park, it's just uh, the icing on the cake. And honestly, it makes me wish that I was really going to Jurassic Park and not just pretending and unboxing this thing. So what a fun thing from Dr. Collector. Uh, you know, I keep saying the stuff we're getting this year um, and terms of collectibles and toys for Jurassic Park has just been so awesome with the stuff from Box Lunch and everything. But um, this latest thing is just, um, this this kit is just one more awesome thing to add to the collection. So super happy about it. And I think that's all I got for today. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic and I'll see you next time.